This idea that a lever can multiply the force brings up the concept of mechanical advantage. And this idea, mechanical advantage, applies to any kind of a simple machine. We think of the mechanical advantage that the machine provides. In the case of a lever, we have as before our two distances which we call D1 and D2 and we have our input force F1 and the output force F2 and just to give some numbers to this example if D1 is 12 feet and D2 is 3 feet the ratio of those distances D1 over D2 in this case is 4 and then the ratio of the forces, F2 is going to be four times as big. So this ratio, F2 over F1, is also going to be four. The output force is four times as large. So we say that this particular lever has a mechanical advantage of four. And we often write it like this. We just abbreviate MA. So in this case, MA is equal to four. We've multiplied the force by a factor of four. And that's typically what the mechanical advantage is, is. You can think of it as a force multiplier. We get out four times as much force as we put in, but there's always this trade-off between the force and the distance. Whenever we multiply the force, there's a corresponding reduction in the distance. Now it's often the case that we want a mechanical advantage. Obviously multiplying the force is useful. You can lift a heavier object than you otherwise would be able to. But sometimes, and there are plenty of examples of this, sometimes you want a mechanical disadvantage. You want a situation where you reduce the force. And here's an example. Suppose we have a lever like this and it's, it's fixed at this point up top. So this is a board that can rotate about this point. And if we apply a force right here, think of that as the input force, then the other end here moves. And it's going to move a much larger distance. If I apply this force up here at this point, because it's moving in a circle of smaller radius, it's not going to move as far as the end point of the lever here which is moving in a circle of much larger radius. So sometimes we might want this because the result in this case is that we get a larger distance. So we've multiplied the distance. Multiplying the force is obviously useful. Multiplying the distance can be useful too. When we do this, when we multiply the distance, the force output here, our output force F2 is correspondingly smaller. So again, there's this trade-off. If you want larger force, you get it at the expense of the distance. And if you want a greater distance, you get it at the expense of the force. But the mechanical advantage is always thought of as the force multiplier. So in this particular case, what you see on screen right now, because the output force is smaller, we would say that this lever offers a mechanical disadvantage. It gives us the advantage of a larger distance, but we say it has a mechanical disadvantage because the output force is diminished in this case.